All right, let's see what we're using here. Let's see. So. This is a rental code from Ash. And it is a Life Orb Dragapult with Rose Incense Rillaboom. That's, Rose Incense is just like the hipster miracle seed. Um, also, Dive Dragapult. Whoa. That's kind of cool. Uh, we have Leftovers, Amnesia, Iron Defense, Reggie Steel, Fairy, Friend Guard, Standard Set. We have Safety Goggles, Rotom Heat, the best set. And we have Power of Nihiligo, the best set. I like it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we're facing Matt. Thank you for the follow, Yeet. Ooh, okay. Um, yo, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of want to use the dive Dragapult to annihilate that Rotom Heat. Kind of want to try that out. I think what I'll do here is I'll lead off. I can probably lead off Dragon Hilligo pretty safely. Oh wait, I just realized that dive Dragapult annihilates Landorus. That's big brain. That's actually kind of big brain. Let me ring the Rillaboom in the back. That seems like a really solid choice for this matchup. Uh, and I think I could go Clefairy, but I could also go... Uh, they got Lando and Rotom on this team. I probably can't bring that. Uh, my own Rotom doesn't seem amazing. I'll go Clef. We'll go Clef here. Yeah. No, Registeel's one downside is the fact that it can get crit. Like, I think one of my favorite sets I've ever used in OU. I play singles on occasion. I have an Iron Defense, Body Press, Fire Spin, Turtonator. And Turtonator's ability Shell Armor, which means it completely walls Urshifu Dark and Urshifu Water because they don't get any crits off on it. Being able to prevent crits is actually a really solid ability. Okay. Holton the Hilligo carries as well. I figured. It seems like a really solid combo. Ooh, maybe not versus this, though. Maybe not versus this. You know what I could do? You know what I could do? You know what I bet will KO this Landorus? I bet you... I have to look at this spread. I have to look at the spread on this um, on this Dragapult. But I have a sneaking suspicion that Max Geyser into a powered Meteor Beam will always KO. I have to check the spreads, though. I really hope these things are both, like, somewhat max speed, max attack. All right, this is max attack. Good. All right, good, good, good. I have a feeling this will do it. I have a feeling this will do it. I want to click this Max Geyser. And we'll go for the Meteor Beam. I get. I have a sneaking suspicion this will do it. Helping hand Max Geyser. I feel like, you know, I don't have the helping hand on the field, but I feel like this will do it anyways. I guess my main issue would be if it's like Scarf Lando. Scarf Lando could be annoying. Oh, uh, Reprey? I'm going to remove you from the queue so you can actually send me your team. You have to put the team code in with your with your join message. Make sure you put them in the same message. That way, I can actually see the team code and I don't have to go digging for it. But I did remove you. You can go ahead and join again and add it there. Is that the Lando? I bet you that's the Lando. Bet you that's the Lando. Now, he didn't intimidate us. He did not intimidate us, so I really hope this does it. I really hope this is enough. Max Geyser. Oh, I think it might not be. <laughs> I don't think it I don't think it's enough. Nihiligo, can you do it? It's plus one. Can you do it? There's a really powerful hit. I think that if it's not assault vest, this will KO. But a lot of these guys like to run Assault Vest. Come on. Come on, Nihiligo. I need you here. Oh, my. We got it. We got it. That was cool. 
I like that a lot. That was really cool. And I bet you they just moon blasted too. I bet you they just moon blasted. As they calm mind, I don't care. I don't think I care about the calm mind though. That was cool. I like that's and that's how you know it's gonna make it into the video. <laughs> that's how you know it's gonna make it into the video. There's the Clefairy. Yeah, Clefairy could be scary, but how scary, you know? <laughs> how scary could it really be? Let me max Phantasm Clefairy this turn and go for my Protect. And then on the next turn, the subsequent max Phantasm should KO since it's at minus one. And then I can go for the Sludge Bomb and the Finny for the KO. Because right now I don't feel like taking a Muddy Water. Even though I'll probably... No, nah, I won't live it with the Rain up. No, nah, I'm not going to live it. You're going to follow me, right? As they protect. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I think this is still fine. As they go for the Scald. Okay, 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 okay. Um, do I live that Scald? I feel like if I send in Clefairy, I live the Scald. But it doesn't even matter if I don't. I don't think so. I'm going to double into this Finny. Just in case they decide not to. In case they like Helping Hand, this will do it. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard now. I have to choke pretty hard. But I am the type to choke a game away like this. Hey, we're already at 42 viewers. Thank you so much, guys. We've only been live for 15 minutes. We're at 42 viewers. That's a big deal for me. They... <laughs> Look. If it works, it works. But I don't think they protected the Finny this turn. They did? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But everything's defense is just a little lower. And he could sucker punch me, right? He could sucker punch me. Hmm. I think my top priority is going to be getting rid of this Urshifu. So I should always just target into it. I'll just Breaking Swipe to break the Sash. And uh, we'll remove the Urshifu now. Hopefully it's just going to like sucker the... Sucker the Dragapult. Because we, we beat the Tapu Fini with the, uh, the Rillaboom regardless. Arbok, how you doing? Javier, how you doing? Matt, you underestimate me, Yeet. I can throw games pretty hard. You know how Uncle Rico in Napoleon Dynamite said, like, you see those mountains over there? I used to be able to throw a pigskin clean past those. That's me with a game. That's me with, like, a regular game of Pokemon. Anyways, we won. Yappy Yamper, how you doing? And thanks for the follow, Repray, and Revio. Starting to build my Altaria team in game right now, so that's cool. I actually had an Altaria game, or Altaria team uh, in game. Uh, basically, what happened is. So, you guys know me. I'm like the type of dude that likes to build really wacky teams. And not, like, so wacky that they don't work, but just wacky enough where they do work. So what happened is my girlfriend says, like, hey, I want to play VGC. Can you build me a team around my favorite Pokemon? And I'm like, lucky you. It's me. And then she said Altaria, and I go, okay, well, this is awful. 
Uh, but I managed to make something with it. And it was actually really solid. I liked it. I liked what I made for her. It's actually on the channel. There's a video on the channel where I use it. Breaking Swipe is a really underrated move on Dragapult. And also, they didn't protect the Finny. What? Give me your Finny. If you can build with Absol, you can build just about anything. You assume I succeeded with Absol. I did not. <laughs> There's a reason I'm not playing in Player's Cup 4, and it's because they won't let me. <laughs> I did not qualify. Because I decided to bring the Absol. And the ultimate, like, the ultimate just, like, kicking dirt in my face, putting salt in the wound, was someone else got, like, fifth place. It was Flying Falcon 7 on Twitter. They got, like, fifth place in the entire IC using an Absol, and it was Crit Absol, and that was like, it was a super cool team, I liked it, but I was like, dang, someone else succeeded with Absol, and I did not. Breaking Swipe is just minimum war win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a cool, I like this team. I really like this team. I, I am going to hold on to that, but we're going to move on to the next team. Alright, that one, I like the Turtonator thing. Turtonator seems pretty cool. I think I saw a Turtonator team on... I'm pretty sure I saw a Turtonator team on Twitter a few weeks ago. But it was uh, during the IC, so it was a Series 8 team. Alright. Interesting little squad here. Interesting little squad. Uh, Celestila goes absolutely in on it. And Turtonator's technically not ideal, but I'm going to bring it anyways. Technically, Turtonator is not the play there, but I'm going to do it anyways. I could bring Lando in the back. Should I? Mm, yeah, Lando in the back isn't awful. Alright, let's see what we got. Hopefully, Turtonator can do something. Because I know, I've seen Turtonator put in work in VGC. I have seen it. Now I just want to do it. When's the last time I saw Duraldon? I haven't seen Duraldon in a long time. Oh, Milotic? Okay. Uh, none of those really have anything for Celesteela. Just going to keep it real there. They don't have much for Celesteela. I'll go ahead and I'll deal with the Dragapult first. Get our boy out, switching the Rillaboom. I could have protected too, but I would very much enjoy uh, not taking damage on something I really want to clutch the game with. Thunderpult. Oh my god. I'm pretty doesn't Dragapult actually get electric moves? Pretty sure it does. Just that special Dragapult's kinda underwhelming. As they don't Dynamax, they're gonna be taking quite a bit here. They go for the light screen. Okay, they're just screen support. This should still do a chunk. Yeah, uh, it's going to be in range of my next one. And I get a nice little speed boost here with the monkey. Muddy water, hello? Nice little accuracy drop, but uh, hopefully it won't matter. Hopefully I can just KO things while this thing's Dynamaxed. Alright, my play is pretty obvious. Airstream the Dragapult here. Uh, Rillaboom, I am somewhat tempted to U-turn out. Expecting this thing not to stay in. But what do they have to switch in on this? That'll sort of determine what I do here. 
Uh, I can, I can just wood hammer. I can just wood hammer. If they if they switch out, I'll U-turn next turn. As they protect, that's fine. They go for the reflect. That's all good. Gonna get a nice little beast boost here. Whew. All right, so I get a nice little special attack boost. We're at plus two speed, plus one special attack. They have a light screen up though, but we are life orb Celesteela, so our damage up, it's kind of crazy. The only thing is our accuracy's dropped, so that might matter later on if we stay in with Celesteela. There's the Duraludon, okay. All right. Now, luckily, Duraludon's... Duraludon's not gonna like this. He really isn't, is he? No, let me U-turn on it, too. They're going to Dynamax this Duraldon. They're going to go for, like, a Max Lightning, I'm sure. There it is. So they're maxing this Duraldon. And I know you're behind a light screen, but plus one Max Flare. If you're not Assault Vest, you're not taking this well. This is Life Orb plus one Max Flare from Celesteela. You gotta be Assault Vest to take this well. Oh, he did not take that well. He did not. That was a crit, though. That was a crit, though. Thank you for follow Pro Fluffy. Hey, we're at 24 subscribers. I just want to point that out. Thank you all for 24 subscribers. Max Duraldon's cry is kind of gross. All right, get in there, turret. Now is your time. Now is the turtonator hour. As they go for an ice beam. Okay, maybe not the turtonator hour yet. At least they can't freeze me. Has anyone ever accidentally said pole colt in their head when they see coal pult? Maybe. <laughs> hey, this is this is one Pokemon that can't actually crit me now. We can actually stay in on this thing, because it cannot crit us. Go for this air slash. Go for this nice little burning jealousy. I genuinely hope he's focus sash. Good. I really need this this uh this Turtonator to do something. Just for my sanity. I need the Turtonator to do something. There's the wicked blow. Into the Celesteela. Wow. A critical hit. You know what you can't crit though? You know what's on the field that you can't crit? Muddy An Ice Beam would have done more. They know what the they're fishing for the accuracy drop. They know what they're doing. Doesn't matter though. Get him out of here. Okay. So I'm going to send in the Rillaboom and hope they forfeit. Here comes the boom. I'm going to fake out an Iron Defense. And then next turn, I just body press wood hammer, and that'll do it. Actually, I could grassy glide wood hammer, and that would definitely make it so the uh, the Turtonator gets the KO. How many turns the terrain are left? One? Zero? One. Yeah. 
A grassy glide into a body press should seal the deal. Oh, no, I, you know, can't do that no more. Uh, wood hammer into body press should seal the deal now. <laughs> As they ice beam, I'm tanking that. You're a Milotic, dude. Your special attack's kind of eh. Woodhammer. Hey, and now the Turtonator gets his moment in. He gets his moment in the spotlight right now. Sit on him, dude. Nice. Cool. So we got the Turtonator to do something. That's all I wanted. That's a thumbnail. That's a, I'm just going to say that. That's a thumbnail. That's all I'm going to say.